What's up, Deep Sea Divers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Subnautica Let's Play. This is episode 5, and you might notice I've changed the intro there a little bit. Um, I'm going to use Castaways for a possible future Let's Play, so I changed it to Deep Sea Divers. I think Deep Sea Divers works better anyway. Um, okay, so we've got a couple things to talk about. Um, first of all, I have been told that you can make these, uh, these pipes to go down into your habitat. And they will basically feed oxygen into your habitat. Uh, the person who told me that said it was a couple updates ago. He doesn't know if it'll work anymore. Uh, I couldn't get it to work. So I just wanted to let you know I saw your comment and I gave it a try. But it wouldn't. I couldn't figure out a way to, to get the, the, the pipe into the habitat. I could get it around it, but I couldn't get it inside. So the habitat wasn't getting oxygen. Um, another tip, and this is a great tip. I'm going to definitely check this out. Ronald Futcher. I guess that's his name, Shadex. Um, yeah, he's been uh, he's been leaving comments on my channels for a long time. He's a really cool dude. Uh, he, f he said he found an easy source of diamonds. He said, go to the island to the left of the remains of the Aurora. He said, uh, basically, face the Aurora. Go to the left until you get to the mushroom forest biome. Then put your back to the Aurora and swim till you see an island. Spikes sticking from the water. I think I've been there before while exploring. I didn't know there was diamonds there. If there's diamonds there, that's going to be sick. Um, so I've also gone ahead and made a bunch of O2 tanks. I've got a bunch of pipes if I'm going to need them. Um, you know what? I'm probably gonna, not going to need this much stuff. So uh, if, if, if all that diamonds are on an island, actually, we probably don't need the pipes. We're going to use the pipes in the future anyway. I definitely want to make them. But anyway, it's also it might be a long trip. So I've got some peeper uh, fish here. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and make some cured peeper fish. And that way it won't go bad. And we can be out there for a while. I've also got water. And it turned daytime somewhat recently, so uh, let's get out there. So it's definitely going to be this way. All right, so put so we got to go straight this way and then left. I I've been out there before. I thought it was straight this way. I didn't think you had to turn left anymore, but I could be wrong. So um, we're definitely going to check that out. And I think I'm going to cut this journey short uh, on video because honestly, this is going to be a long swim. So I will come back when I'm at the island. Okay, I didn't have to go near as far as I was told. Um, as a matter of fact, this, this island is right by the Aurora. This might be the wrong island. Um, this is the island I found while exploring myself. Uh, but it might be the wrong island. It, I don't even think I passed the mushroom biome, to be honest. Oh, look at that. There's a wreck down there. Is that the same wreck I was at before? I can't tell. You know what? I should have marked it. You know what I should have done? I should have brought a freaking beacon out here. What the hell was I thinking? I'm pretty sure that's the same wreck, but let's go check out the island, and then we'll come back and check out the wreck. Um, oh, what's this? Oh, so some of this uh, creep vine stuff is floating up to the surface, so that's pretty interesting. This looks like the uh, island he's talking about. He said it's a long swim. This isn't a long swim, though. I wasn't swimming that long at all, so I, I have a feeling this isn't the island, but we're going to check it out anyway. Like I said, I've been here before, um, but I, I don't know how many islands are in this game. I thought there was only two. So, yeah, I have a feeling this is not the one. We're going to explore it. To hell with it. Let's take a look. I looked on the map that I have. I do have a map that I got off the internet, but the, um, I don't know. These islands aren't on it, or maybe I'm misreading the map. I don't know. There's not very good maps on the internet. If anyone finds a good map, let me know. The wiki maps aren't the best. This looks like it's in, like, the red thing biome or whatever like the red grass biome or something i don't even know what it's called actually is this the island i was at i'm starting to wonder because it this might just this might not be an island actually now that i think about it um oh what's that magnetite Compass unlocked. Cool. Well, the compass might be actually coming pretty handy. Um, no, this is the island I found last time. And you go down in the middle, there's like some caves in the middle and stuff. Go check it out. Yeah, this is not the one he was talking about. I don't think so, anyway. Unless, well, maybe. Hold on. Keep my fingers crossed. We're looking for basalt. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's the stuff right there. That's the stuff we need. Lithium. Oh, lithium's also really good. Come on, man. You can't pick up the lithium? No, oh, whatever. Oh, wow. So this is the island. Thank you very much, Ronald. You're a freaking boss, dude. 
There we go. Now we can pick up some lithium. Got some birds up there. Not really worried about that. Don't want to pick up too much lithium. Although we do have some... Oh, yeah. These stupid things. I hate these guys. They're really kind of awkward to fight. Nothing there. Got some more lithium here. I think we only need five lithium. When I used to play, you only needed five lithium. I don't know how much you need now, though. You need the lithium, I believe, for the... I want to say for the Cyclops. I think for maybe an enameled glass or something. Come on, give me a diamond. Give me a freaking diamond. I would be thrilled. It seems kind of weird that I could get a diamond this easily, though. <laughs> That's why I didn't think that it would ever be this easy to get a diamond. And diamond is absolutely from basalt as well. Oh, you're going to pay for that. I'd like some ranged way to fight these guys. Hmm, more gold. I'm gonna need gold too. Although back in the day, I only ever needed one gold. I don't know how much I'm gonna need now. That the recipes have changed, so maybe I'll need more than you know one. How much room do I have? Yeah, I got some more room. All right. Well, you know what, guys? Basalt is definitely where you find the diamonds. So that um that laser cutter is within my grasp. Sooner or later. Eat it, you punk ass. Ooh, uranium. Damn. Okay, then. Hmm. I know there's, like, some kind of nuclear reactor or something in this game. Diamond. Beautiful. Wow. That, Ronald, you are a freaking boss, dude. Thank you very much. I would love to go around off camera and find this stuff myself. Unfortunately, as a YouTuber, I just simply do not have unlimited time to do that. And uh, people like Ronald are freaking awesome. He's been commenting on my channels forever. But we'll keep looking because why not? Maybe we can find more cool stuff. Or not. Maybe my inventory's full. Well, we're probably going to use a health kit soon, so. Oh, by the way, those health kit container thingies. Yeah, they spawn one health kit every 30 minutes. And you know how I know that? I have a blueprint. I could make them. Honestly, I hate to say this because I don't want it to get touched, but it might be a little too easy to get health kits. How come I'm like spaceman technology and I'm running around with a damn knife? Alright, you know what? I can't carry anything else, so let's just get out of here. Peace out, island. Yeah! Dive like a boss! Oh my goodness, look at all the rocks around this thing. Wow, that is so freaking cool. That is so freaking cool. You guys have told me a, a lot about experimental stuff. So a lot of you don't have, um, don't have a lot of, uh, experience with experimental, which is what makes Ronald such a hero of mine, because he purposely made an experimental world just to help me out. Um, yeah, and a lot of you guys didn't know about experimental. I know a lot about, a lot more about it now. My game is not bugged. I've also been called out on, um... That I, anytime I, anytime something's wrong in one of these games or something's not going the way I think it's supposed to, I th I I refer to it as possible bug. Well, yeah, it could be a possible bug. We're playing early access games. All this stuff could be bugged out. Not only we're we playing early access games, but I'm playing an experimental build of an early access game, which is about as you know. I mean, there's going to be bugs, so yeah, you can forgive me for thinking that certain things might be bugs. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to apologize for that, but I you know a lot of times they are bugs. Sometimes they're not. You know. So, uh, yeah, so, but, like, this experimental build, like, when I didn't get any, when I didn't see the fragments, I was thinking, you know, I could be bugged. Like, I was finding, like, I found at least three or four wreckages that had no good, uh, fragments in them. Like, they had a table, a chair, and a floodlight, all of which are cosmetic and stupid and boring. Not stupid, they're good. I mean, when I'm building stuff and I want to put down some, ch some, ch some, uh, chairs and stuff, it's gonna, I'm gonna love them. But they're not, like, they're not, like, the Seamoth or something that's, like, functional that I'm actually gonna need. 
So, like, when I go through four wrecks in a row and there's nothing in there, yeah, I might think it's bugged. And a lot of people are saying, we'll use the laser cutter. And, yeah, that's a great idea. I would love to use the laser cutter, but the thing takes a diamond. And, and you know, you think of a diamond, you think of Minecraft, <laughs> you know? You think of the ultimate. Like, diamond is ultimate. No, diamond is not ultimate. There's freaking things right there. You can get it day one. I think the, I think the progression in this game is a little messed up. I think some of those wreckages should have sea moth fragments and stuff like that not locked behind doors and i think they should have some of the more uh some of the bigger things like like the cyclops or some of the really really end game stuff you know maybe the the stasis rifle or something those should be behind the locked doors and then the, the diamond should be 200 meters deep like how, <laughs> if you read the wiki it says that diamonds are, are formed under pressure and around lava and like neither of those are on that island so um, but you know, if you if you if that island wasn't there, I wouldn't be able to get the diamonds because I wouldn't have a sea moth. So it seems like things are backwards. Like you're getting the diamond, which is an extremely rare item that should be hard to get to, and it's not. And you're unlocking, you're going to use it to unlock ships that will take you deep down to get hard to get stuff. I feel like maybe you should get those ships a little bit easier, and then get the diamonds to get the better ships. There's two. There's two major ships in this game. If you're not aware, um, there's the sea moth and, and the and the cyclops. The sea moth is a one man ship that you can you know drive around you know just you it can only go to a certain depth though i believe so that's you know that's something you got to keep in mind and then there's a cyclops which is a giant ass submarine it's so giant ass that it actually holds a sea moth inside of it um and i would think that the sea moth would be something middle ground like you'd be able to get without diamonds and i think i figure you would need the diamonds for to get the laser cutter which would get you through the doors to get the blueprints for the cyclops and maybe more advanced base building things I am playing an experimental branch. This is not going to be balanced. Uh, they're just trying out new, uh, you know, new game mechanics, which I love. I love the fact that now there's basically what happened was the Aurora blew up, and you're sal you're salvaging its technology from the water and learning how to build the stuff that are in the Aurora. It's genius. It's freaking genius. It's so much better than just having fragments lying around. All right, I am going to uh, just hang out here during the night. And uh, I'll come back in the morning, and we will do some laser cutting. So I'll see you then. Okay, guys, we're back. It is daytime. I have made everything I want to make except for the laser cutter. I wanted you to be here for that. Why? I don't know. I also made um, some beacons. Uh, this is going to allow me to uh, leave them down at certain points uh, should I want to return. And I think, we, I think we're ready to go. Let's just... Uh, Let's dump off some of this crap. Well, we can't do anything in there. I don't think we're going to have to dump off too much because we're not really grabbing anything. But, oh, I also wanted to show you that I made a second thing here. An, a second uh, foundation. And there was also a big piece of coral here and I just I just got rid of it. It still needs some more titanium. We'll do that later though. Um, I'm not going to be getting a lot uh, where I'm going. Uh, basically, all I'm doing is getting fragments. But the fact of the matter is I can grab other stuff. While I'm on my way there. So let's clean our inventory as much as we can. Um, we should just eat the cured peeper. <laughs> I really don't want to eat the cured peeper. Because it could last. I think I think once it's cured it lasts forever. So there's no point in eating that. Let's just, um, let's just grab a regular peeper. Let's eat that. And then we'll be on our way. I'm trying to make this quick. But man that hunger bar goes down fast. Like no joke. Like it really does. Obviously, cured is what you want. I don't think I, I don't know if I need salt for anything else but food and water, obviously. But I don't know. Maybe I can make a bunch of cured peeper. Although eventually I'll be able to make an aquarium, and uh, then you could just you know wait until the fish are like reproduce. Uh, apparently, you could put fish in an aquarium and they'll reproduce, and then you could just uh, you know uh, kill them and eat them at will. So that's pretty cool. So I'll probably do that. Uh, someone said that the aquarium is more efficient and better than uh, using my gravity sphere technique um yeah, you may be right but if you don't have an aquarium the gravity sphere seems a bit easier to make plus it's like it's different and i don't know i, I enjoy it i don't i don't think it's not fun the aquarium's fun i'm sure I, mean, I, I don't know i think i think using the gravity gravity sphere is pretty fun too all right so we got our laser cutter let's put that on number four Put the laser cutter on number four, and we'll put the beacons on number five. I don't think we need to leave a beacon at this one. This one's pretty obvious. I mean, <laughs> couldn't be much closer to my base, right? I mean, jeez. 
I mean, I can see my base from this wreckage almost. I'm pretty excited to use this laser cutter, though. I, again, I can't believe that diamonds um, are, like, so easy to get. I'm glad they are, because a lot of the stuff hidden behind these doors are kind of necessities, but... Uh, well, I've already talked about my my thoughts on that, so... Let's get through here. Take out number four. This thing does have a battery charge thing on it. I'm not sure how much, how long it's going to take, you know, to cut through stuff, but uh, let's do it. Oh, wow. This is going to take a while. Yeah, this is... Yeah. So, you know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to bring extra batteries um, as backups. I mean, that was at about 25% at 90%. So, yeah. It's going to take it down to about 60% by the time we're all the way through. Let's see, we're at 50% now, and that's at about 75%. So yeah, it'll take about it's gonna take it, it's gonna take it down to about half power. Which means we can only cut through like two doors. So that's interesting. Nice balancing act. Uh, that's why someone was telling me we're gonna need a lot more copper. And that's why, because I'm gonna need a lot more batteries. Alright, here we go. Very cool, very cool. What do you got for me? What do you got for me? Nothing. Not a goddamn thing. Oh, got a battery here. Wait. Battery. What is that? Can I? Why can't I pick that up? Oh well. Probably because it's attached to the floodlight. Okay, we can't get anything in here. Seriously. Well, there's more rooms to go, but sheesh. Oh wait a minute. Is this the room we came in? Wait, did we go? Yeah, that's the room we came in. We just cut through the room we came in. Duh. You got, I'm sure you guys are letting me know that in the comments. And that's the only door to go through. So this wreckage has nothing. This wreckage is pointless. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, we've still got all the wreckages to check. I won't put a beacon down. Let's, uh, I don't remember where the other wreckages are, though, so we might be, uh, you know, trying to find those. But there, there is some maps on the, on, like, again, I have not found a good map. If anyone has a good map at their disposal... Um, I would love to have one, but I went on the wiki, and the, the maps are all kind of, I don't know, not very great. Uh, so if you guys have a good map, that would be so cool. And uh, I'm going to look for another wreckage. Alright, here we go. Got another wreckage. I think I will mark this one. Um, and if it took, by the way, that noise over there is a volcano, volcano, like an underground volcano type thing. So let's uh, put this right here. Can we name it? Uh, is there any way to name it? No, you can just pick it up, huh? That's a bummer. Yeah. I don't see any way to name those. Alright, well. This is not... Uh, well, that's locked. I can't actually get in there. This thing's only going to be able to get through one more door, so... We might have to go back for some batteries. We're going to have to... We're going to have to bring some more batteries next time for sure. For sure. Let's see what we got over here. There's got to be some way to get in here. Yep. This is a regular door to open. I've been at this one before. And here's a locked door. But does that go outside? Well, it doesn't matter. It's the only other door we can go to. Does it go outside? It looks like it does. Yeah, it just goes outside. Right? Maybe? Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, yeah, let's open it. Let's open this sucker. You know what else is weird? I'm not sure exactly how death works. I believe whenever I leave my base and it says inventory secured, I believe that that inventory is what I will have if I die and come back. Although I don't really know. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to be careful of when I go to. A, honestly, I don't know. I mean, you could save the game, but you can't save scum it. Like, when I saved the game last time, it didn't just put me out back where I saved the game. It put me back in my base with nothing on me. So, I'm not sure what happened. Honestly, I don't know what happens when you die. I should probably kill myself on purpose and uh, do some tests. Because I really want to know before I put this, uh, this you know, laser cutter, you know, to, you know, into danger, basically. Danger of losing it. Alright, so you can get through two doors. And why am I not surprised? Nothing. Right, seriously, game. What? What am I missing here, guys? What am I missing? Can't go through here. Nothing you do here. 
Cut through two doors, nothing. I'll come back for one more check just because I'm... I can't believe that there's nothing in these. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm missing something, but I don't know. Now, we, we still have the big wreck over there. You know, the one that we found at the end of uh, last episode. But, I mean... Is all my fragments going to be at one wreck? That seems kind of... I don't know. A little anticlimactic, don't you think? Yeah, I don't think there's anything else on here. We'll go check that room one more time, but yeah, I think this is a bust. Oh, bummer. Yeah, I can't, it didn't say anything about that, so. Yep, nothing to scan in here. Wow. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, this is experimental, it's not balanced. So, you know, they got to put some stuff in the in here, though, man. Like, two wrecks in a row I go to is nothing here. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe they don't. Maybe they don't care. But that's kind of a letdown, I think. All right. We don't need this. Oh, you can label it. Okay. Edit. Oh, okay. So if you, like, click on the middle right there, like the little black part, that's when you can label it. But I'm, I'm not going to. I'm going to pick it up. Because there's no point in labeling this thing, because it's a big steaming pile of nothing. Alright, well... I think I'm going to go back to base, and I'm going to do a couple of uh, suicide tests. And see what I lose, and what and how the game works. I mean, I, you know, or I could just go on the wiki. <laughs> but who knows, you know, like the, the mechanics might change, so... Suicide tests would be the best way to go, but... Uh, go on the wiki and checking would be quicker. What is that? Is that just a piece of the ground? It looks kind of weird. Yeah, that's just a piece of the ground. No, well, guys, I think we're going to call this one here. That is going to be it for episode 5, and we'll see you next time for episode 6. Till then, take it easy.